guess, uh, you know, just to speak to the unselfishness that you were able to demonstrate tonight and what your teammates were doing to create those opportunities for you to kind of recognize the double teams and, and, and cut off of them to a point where you can find it. Um, in all honesty, um, it was just we were out there and we were talking and my teammates were talking to me, telling me I was playing like a true wizard, like the Wizard of Oz almost. And so um, just overall, um, they did a great job in just getting the ball and especially Miller, Scoot, Trey, hitting big shots, got the big shots, and then Race and Scoot cutting to the basket. I mean, um, overall, this was just a great response from the referees game. And um, I thought we had a lot of movement that we didn't have in our last game. And so it was a way to respond. And yeah, that's that. Zach? Trey, uh, you've played with Trace for a couple of years now. Um, how have you seen him improve, I guess, basically, in terms of commanding the floor when he's got the ball, knowing when to attack, when to pass out of the double, how to pass out of the double, just being able to be the kind of player that can get the points, but also 10 assists in a game? Yeah, I mean, I think each year he's just gotten better and better, but I think just the, the biggest thing is his unselfishness and his, his willingness to pass. And I think it's that's a big part because, I mean, he knows he can score and obviously teams are trying to take that away um, now because he, cause he can score at such a high rate. So I think just him being able to pass out a double and make plays for others has been just really special for us and our group. And I think we got to continue to um, make shots when he's getting double teamed because they got to leave us to go get him. So if we're open, we got to knock him down and, and then they can't double and he goes to work. So. Great. Questions for us for a while about, about your jump shot and all the work you've put into the summer to really keep it. I guess how rewarding is it just to have a nice night like tonight, especially when your team needed it specifically? I mean, it's good. Um, I mean, just like you said, steady repetition that I've been trying to focus on in the game, like shots and just being ready to shoot it and knock it down when it, um, when it comes out to me. I think just having that confidence and keep building that confidence and have my teammates pick me up when I'm not shooting as well, it's been great. So just keeping that up. Trey, I guess um, during the off season over the summer stuff like that, did you have a regiment shooting wise in terms of you're trying to hit this many shots, or what all kind of went in behind the scenes in terms of you just trying to improve your shot? Um, I mean, I I did a lot of time just shooting because I was out with my groin injury, so I couldn't really move much, and a lot of it was just stationary shooting and just repetition, the same thing over and over again, and trying to just shoot it the same way every time. So I think just that alone really helped. Um, I mean, not changing much, but just doing doing the things I needed to do to help my shot. Trey, how different did your preparation maybe make this game for the Rutgers when it might have been more of a last minute change, knowing that Jalen was out, but going into the day knowing that you probably were going to carry that more of a heavy burden? Yeah, I mean, obviously with Jalen out, it changes a lot of things. I mean, he, he plays a lot of minutes, so we knew that we we're going to have to step up a little bit. Um, and play more minutes. And I think all of the guards really did a great job of um, stepping in there and playing at a, with a higher role. And I think just those extended minutes, we got to keep our intensity, same focus the whole time um, with the defense then. Chris, uh, being here for four years, being from Indiana, as you climb the record books and you put your name on the triple double, what do these moments mean to you? And kind of spend your legacy at IU? Um, just some. Um... Honestly, just solidifies why I came back. Um, came back to do big things, um, not, over, well, not only individually, but with the team too. And um, we have high aspirations this year. And so um, just continue to just play my hardest every game and play for my teammates and um, the man above. And that's what I'm going to do. And um, just moments like that make it special to me. And um, just uh, kind of is a reminder why I came back, especially when the times are getting tough, it's especially in practice and stuff like that when you're like, just um, down on yourself sometimes and things like that, and then you can bring moments like this. Last question, Scott. Trace, obviously with Jalen out tonight and a tougher night for X tonight, to get the kind of game that you had from Trey and from tomorrow off the bench, just how much of how big of a difference that makes? Um, Trey and tomorrow, I mean, um, we, we didn't have a good game against Rutgers, honestly, and so um, they obviously took that with a little chip on their shoulder coming into this game because that's not how we play basketball. And Coach Woodson was kind of telling us before the game, we got to get tougher. And so um, I think they took that to heart. And uh, they played with the chip on their shoulder this game and played with a lot of confidence. And that's what we need from them. Thanks, guys. May the force be with you.